so I just pulled up in the van at EM Commercial, ready to start a new day. Working on this today, where I left off yesterday, doing a bit of stainless, doing a bit of stainless. On some full, some 18 inch as it goes. The purge is on. Purging away right here. And yeah, this is basically what we're doing today. Some massive 18 inch. And uh, it should be fun. So everybody, welcome back to another video. It is freezing cold and it is, what time is it? Let me check. 6.52 in the morning. I've been here for like since since almost six o'clock basically you know my youtube channel now i'm off on my own going about places into sites places like this prefab shops going anywhere to make the money so today i have 18 inch pipe that i was working on the saturday and uh, yeah i just need to finish it off i'm so tired <laughs> it's hard to describe how tired i am um I'm going to probably get the first weld out of the way. I ain't showing you that. The second weld, I'll show you. Because it's freezing. My hands are numb. And you know when you do them, them punching machines? I, 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 use, I don't want them punching machines. I end up spraining my two fingers. So my hands are not good today. But let's see how today goes. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven welds to do today. And let's see how far I get. Here's the pipe. Thick. Thick, thick, thick. 18 inch. How thick, you ask? My hands all shaking. About, about, two, about three mil. Two, two and a bit, three mil. There we go. Three mil thick. Thick enough that it needs a prep on it. Now, don't look at the pipe alignment. Listen, if you've ever done true bore, metric bore stainless, you know how bad it is. We've done the best we could. So this is what I was talking about. You can see the pipe alignment, how bad it was. That's why the roots were so inconsistent because all, all of a sudden you're welding a gap. Now you're welding something that's six mil thick and then three mil thick and then it's all over the place. I wouldn't recommend doing this alone like I was. Um, this is gonna be obviously the butts that I'm welding right now. There we go, there we go. This is what I'm gonna be welding. Give it a little clean up and all that good stuff. But yeah. Let's go. Let's go. 18 inch reduced into 14 inch. Or 16 inch. I think 14 inch. That's just so big. Here's some that was done the day before or the weekend before. Listen, don't worry about how messy it is. You know when you're working your ass off, it gets messy. I'm sorry. So here's the first weld. It took about 45 minutes to do. I used how many rods? I believe five 2.4 mil rods. Um, yeah, it's done. Listen, do not complain to me about the color or anything like this. The people who um, are professionals have said this is good. It's okay. It's fine. It's not an issue. So unless you've got experience in this i mean this stuff right here right now unless you've got experience in this and you can um, back it up with some kind of evidence this is fine this is fine but you can see the the pipe alignment is just all over the place naturally it's just what happens with this metric bar stuff is the worst stuff to tack together but yeah so it's been purging pretty high at 20 liters a minute. My um, gas flow on the argon, 13 liters a minute. And obviously the shroud is, what is it? The shroud is pretty small as well. It's only a 10 cup. It's all good enough. I, I saw a video somewhere of um, putting notches. I put a notch in it so it helps you to just rock you hear that noise? It helps you to rock 
Otherwise you have to do big wrist movements to make you go forward versus just a rock. Here is the second weld done. So this is a more consistent weld once my body has warmed up. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, certain, certain parts of it look actually really nice. Again, leave me alone with the dark color. Once cleaned up, you'd never know. So, now I'm going to weld here and this is basically what I was using was two bunks and I was purging the whole T. This whole T section was being purged which was a huge purge. You, I can't quite film the inside. I can't quite film the inside. I don't know how to you know view the welds but I'll climb through it later on and just take a quick look. But here it is. I have um been given a few tips from people and the importance of making sure that your purge is good and sealed tight can't be stressed enough the material is only a bit of bed foam and obviously it's got a bit of lagus tape on the front you know to help reflect the heat as well as more importantly to reduce the surface area for the gas to um migrate through if you don't have that you'd get a bad purge here's the cap i've just got you know sponge on the end of it to be a bit of a dis dispersal unit i'm just going to tape it up right here it's all taped up purge will be going on 20 liters a minute I've got the little hole in the top right here. And what you do to um, check the purge, lick your lips and put your lips by it. You should feel the flow coming out or you lick the back of your hand and then you put it by there and you can feel, to, yeah, you go, you can feel the purge coming out. It's just cold, it evaporates the saliva in your hand. It's disgusting, but it's the way to do it. You should always be paranoid that you've forgotten the purge on and there isn't enough purge, you know, just so you don't make a mistake and do a whole weld and not purge it. So, obviously, my methods are not the best. They're very crude. But the truth of the matter is, there's only chilled water that's going to be going through this. It's nothing important, nothing special. Uh, I wish I could spend the time to do things like the best that they possibly can, but I just don't, ain't got the time. I want to have the right gear. Like, look how I'm purging. I want proper purge bung kits, but everything just costs too much money. I've not been doing it long enough. You see my social medias, I'm up and down as to whether I'm on the stainless or the carbon. So if I had enough time, I'd buy all the kit and all the gear, uh, however many thousands of pounds it will cost. But for right now, I'm just I'm on price work on this. I'm just trying to bang out the work. I'm in someone else's facility, so you make do with what you've got. So the pieces are all welded up now. 
and I need to put a branch, no, I need to put a taff on this six inch piece, which if you look at it, it is thick. This isn't a piece of pipe. If you look at whatever that is, wherever it came from, um, the T, it's, it's, it's a rolled sheet of steel. So this here is so thick that I will have to put a bevel on this in order to get penetration. Otherwise, usually on metric bore, you don't need to prep anything. So um, the overall is meant to be 450. So here's a quick little, little diagram as to what I'm trying to do. And then the TAF is obviously that. So it's 450. So from there to the top of the pipe is 227. So minus that and then the TAF itself is what, 27 mil. So minus that, 227, now I'm gonna calculate it. 196. Here's a little extra bonus content just because the pipe that I was recording before got taken. So here's my cap. I hate I hate recording these because the shine, the shine of, of, of the stuff on the camera just points out all the flaws like this. In real life, that's hardly noticeable, but on the camera you can see it. But yeah, that is the cap. And then on the inside, the root, listen, the root is not consistent, I'll tell you that, because big old, big old lips. But you know, I've been told by many people that it is fine, as long as there's a root inside of it, it can still pass the test, even if you run a run on that inside. It's the best that I can do. Here's the other side. everyone and um, thank you for watching today thank you for enjoying my video 
I don't know how clear you can hear me. Maybe I'll have to reshoot this whole video. But I thought I'd just wrap up the end of it. This was the day in the life of Arc One Welding, my um, my new mobile welding business adventure. I don't know what it is right now. I don't know what I'm trying to do, but what I do know is that I don't want to stay in a factory forever, and I want to try my hand at trying to make more money. I'm shattered. So um, yes, thank you for watching this video. This is this is going to be a long video now, just basically because of this at the end um, yeah thanks for watching and I will see you not in the next one